Hey guys, welcome to the second season of Star Wars Morales. Today we're going to talk about how sometimes we are the toxic ones. Even though we don't realize it, we get to be the toxic ones. So let's talk about it. Today I have a very special guest. Today I have a very good friend of mine. Her name's Amber. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Good, good, good. Where did we meet? Uh, uh, we met walking down the street. I went to oh, Norgate. I went to Norgate. Fue a Norgate. Fue a Norgate. She was selling meat. Es Mucha carnicera. But... I hear, I hear that you have a, a business going on, right? Yes, I do. And uh, that business is called uh, Sunkiss Beauty by Amber. Yes. Okay, and you have an Instagram, right? Yes, I do. All right. What was the hashtag on that? What was your Instagram on? So it's SKB underscore by Amber. Um, and basically what it is, it's uh, all kind of beauty services. Uh, I'm currently going to cosmetology school. So all of my work, I post up there. Anything from nails, hair, makeup. Whatever you ladies and gentlemen would like, I can do that for you guys. And now that we live in a generation where you cannot judge me for what I want to wear, I can call you. Yes. You know, I think you would look good with some highlights. You know what? I'm, more of, a, would... I'm more of a, a, a fall color kind of guy. Oh, really? I okay. I think so. Think so. Mm -hmm. It'll go with your skin. I think so. Yeah. Think not so. summer? No. No, not summer. Okay. There you go, right? You can always... Uh, quick time. Do you do eyebrows too? I do, I do, actually. Yes. mine are pushing. See, so See, guys. So they do. They judge you, right? But let me tell you something. Do you see yourself as a toxic person? Oh, in a relationship. I know I am. So it's on the shirt. It's on the shirt. Now, right now, does your do you have a partner? Yes, I do. Does he know you're toxic, or do you make him know that you're toxic? He knew since day one when oh, he was okay. walking into. Yes. Yeah. You don't care. What what constitutes us a toxic relationship? Um, being controlling, being uh, assertive. You know, controlling shouldn't be the right word. It should be more of brainwashing. <laughs> it is not brainwashing if you guys accept it oh. as reality. Ooh. It is not brainwashing. All right. So then I have a quick story for you. All right. So you agree that you then you were with it that you are sometimes a toxic one. Is your partner toxic to you? Oh yes. Yes. I am like mild compared to my partner. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. See? Women, men today. But do we accept it though? It's hard to accept the fact that sometimes we get to be the toxic one, right? It's hard. Right? They'll fight with you, right? I'm not toxic, you're toxic. Oh yeah. Right? Yes, that is. So it's very, very hard to admit. Topic. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I have a quick story. Um, this story begins. 2009 but i'm gonna backtrack a little bit i dated this girl in high school for two years head over here in love the love of my life this is the woman i'm gonna be with this is my high school puppy sweetheart love. i don't think i know you know what i thought it was puppy love but i i was literally genuine like this is it this is the woman i'm gonna be with for the rest of my life okay, okay. that's dang okay. so you were like committed yeah I'm, right. i was okay. like I was like, I'm not going to walk any other girl to any other classroom. Uh, I'm so done if you were this committed, what made you toxic? Uh, hold up. That's where oh, we go, okay, right? Okay. We break up after high school. Well, we break up after high school. Now, this Keep story This story has uh, only a few know the story. So the story... Ooh, I feel honored. That I this story is okay. finally coming out to the light. So the person probably is following, probably wouldn't know of what I did. Ooh. All right? Okay. So, we break up after high school. The reason we break up after high school is because she finally got a job. She started hanging out with other people. And I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa, you can't be hanging out with the people. Like, you're going to leave me? Now, back in high school, I didn't drink. I still don't. Agua bendita. Mm -hmm. Agua bendita. Dios me libre todo pecado concebido. So, I didn't drink. I didn't like tattoos. Like, if you had a tattoo, I was like, ah, the fuck? As is drogas, you're, you're a fucking criminal. Like, I was fucking up tight. Like, I probably, probably had a cut stick far up my ass it was using me as a puppy right wow. so then I started I'm like okay so then she leaves me right she leaves me she breaks up with me she leaves me we graduated in 09 so by like late 2009 she leaves me 2010 comes in and I'm I'm heartbroken right I'm very heartbroken to the fact that like how can what can I do to get her back her thing was well you're too self-centered you only care about yourself you're too controlling you don't let me do what? I'm like, I'm not any of those. But again, right? I'll go to the back too. It's hard to admit that you are. Right. Right? Right? Because you're not going to admit it. So then I go, I'm not any of those. So I, we stopped talking for like three months. We stopped talking for like three months, 2010. So I don't talk to her all the way until March. And you will say, why do you remember this? How do you remember dates? 
I don't know. It was a moment in my life where I realized that I, what I did was tragic enough to me to remember. Ooh. So I don't talk to her until March. Okay. I call her up and I'm like, hey, how you been? She goes, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm like, hey, you mind if we go? Again, I wasn't drinking. So I'm like, you want to grab some coffee, grab to eat? She goes, no. Oh, she don't want to with me. She's probably, you know, in my head, what am I thinking? She's, she's probably seeing someone somewhere. else. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, she's probably already moved on. Like, she didn't love me. Like, they were like, Typical she toxic. Said, oh, Typical she toxic. cannot leave me. So, I wait a little bit and I keep calling her. Mm -hmm. Keep calling her. Yes, to the point where it's creepy, right? Because at some point, it's just like, like let go. Her. Let yeah. go. You gotta yeah. let go. So, she finally gives in. And she finally, we talk, finally talk. I'm like, hey, you know, come on, give me a chance. Let's go out. Let me show you I'm different. So she starts telling me, we go out, and she starts telling me how, again, I'm self-centered, I don't care, like, we can never be here together ever again, like, I need to understand that, that you're a different person. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so what do you want from me? Like, what is it that you want me to do? Like, what is the person that you want me to be? Mm -hmm. She goes, well, you need to care someone other than yourself. All right, so then, then the next date, because I got a second date. I got a second date. I was excited. Oh, second date. okay. So she didn't see the red flags? No, none of them. <laughs> she did no, not see the red none flags? Okay. None of the red flags. I mean, right now, there's no red flags. Yet, so okay. she tells me, uh, so, so what up, what's up with you? And I'm like, oh, um, I am, um, I volunteer at an orphanage. Did you really though, or did you just say that for the like, uh, for so schmoozing purposes? For, for, for my story of how I figured in my head how I was gonna do to get her back, okay? okay? So okay. I, I told her, I, I uh, volunteer at an orphanage. She goes, really, which one? Ooh. So I knew this was coming, so I go, I volunteer at a orphanage in Huntington Beach. Uh, there's nuns, and uh, there's kids, and I got uh, I gotta sign one of the kids. Have you ever been to Huntington Beach? Um, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there! Get out there! Perdón, perdón. Get out there! Sí, sí. But then, so what happens is, I tell, um, I tell her, so I'm like, yeah, did you get to sign a kid? Uh, uh, you know, to, to help out, obviously. These, these kids that I get assigned are obviously getting ready to get adopted, mm -hmm. but the kid that I have or that I'm, I'm assigned to, his name... So at this point, my nephew had just been born. His name is Xavier. Oh, my God. So I'm like, yeah, his name... Uh, he goes, what's the kid's name that you're assigned? I'm like, oh, his name's Xavier. I'm like, but, you know, fortunately, you know, he's a sick kid. Right now, he has mild cancer. Okay? You are really trying to milk this. Okay, okay. right. Okay. So, this is the beginning, right? Wow. I figured this will work, right? Um, so, now what happens is, the months go by, right? She goes, she's, you know, she used to go out. She used to, I used to call her at night. She'll be like, hey, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? She goes, oh, I'm up and about. So, para mi, so I wouldn't feel like I'm in bed. She's up and about. What am I going to do? She goes, what are you doing? I'm like, ah, oh, you know, me too. I keep with some amigos, just hanging out, chilling. You know, she goes, oh, Music well. in the background. I was just like, I don't know, because we were texting. So oh. I wouldn't call her because I knew I was in bed. It's too quiet. Gotcha, gotcha. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out here. Um, I'm like, you just like, oh, would you like to hang out after work oh, or after I'm out? I'm like, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you know what? I, I'm, I'm too far away from you. I'm, I'm in L.A., you know, because if she was out, I was out. Of course. If, you know, just to no match. No the hat. Next no time, no more hat. Because yeah. I have to okay, match her strength, right? Of course. Of course. I, I have to let her know that if she's out, I'm in a bump and about that she's not going to leave me behind. So, I told her, you know what? Uh, I used to tell her, oh, I'm going to go to sleep early today. Why? Oh, it's because I got to go to the orphanage. <laughs> I got to go to the orphanage tomorrow. Um, so then one day, she, uh, one day I realized, you know what? To make it believable, I'm going to post it up online. I'm just going to post it up online that I'm heading to the orphanage. So I got the link for the orphanage on the beach. Oh, I post it up, and then someone decides to go ahead and say, which one do you go to? I'm like, this bitch. Mm -hmm. Who the hell do you think you are? And I'm like, uh, yeah, you know you know, Sister Mary? I, I go with Sister Mary all the time. She knows me, this and that. She goes, you should volunteer with me. No, I, no I'm not going to volunteer with No. <laughs> I'm like, sure, sure, yeah, let me know. Send me the location. Send me uh, you know, the information. I'll, I'll sign up. And uh, this girl, obviously, look, no names, right? This girl was worth it to go through. This, I mean. At that time. At that, at time. that time, this girl was the, was worth it, right? Okay. So this is already four months into, five months into the lie. Wow. Okay, five months into the lie. So we keep going on dates. We keep going on dates. This and that. She's like, how is it? So at this point, I'm telling her that Xavier is not doing so well. Xavier is feeling, it's doing some symptoms where he's feeling hurt. Lo vas a matar. Um, 
Spoilers. Um, <laughs> and she, you know, we argue a lot, right? We are, I mean, we, we're hooking up, but we're still nothing. Ooh. We're still nothing, right? Ooh. Like, now we're still friends. We're never going to get together. We're not going to get back together. I was like, what do I have to do? Mm-hmm. So at this point, I'm telling her that Xavier is not doing well. And I tell her, you know what? I talk to Xavier all the time about you. Like, I tell her, like, hey, you know what? This this girl is amazing. She makes me laugh. She makes me feel good. She tells me all of it. And you know what he tells me? She goes, what is it that he tells you? That if he were to ever get adopted, he would like me to be his dad and for you to be the mom. Like, it's just amazing. And I'm like, and to, the fact that, and to the fact that this four-year-old is telling me this, like, wouldn't you want to think like that? Like, somebody, some, some four-year-old... But I'm about to be five is having this ideology because he knows he's probably not gonna make it, and he's he's giving us hope, and you don't see it. She goes, I just can't. <laughs> and I'm like, Calabria. Well, neither can I see you. I know. And I'm like, fuck, okay. So, <laughs> uh, seven months and a half later, I already played in that Xavier is about to die. That at any point I'm gonna get a call. Mm. Um, and. There's, 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 there's witnesses of this so we were at Disneyland um, and we were watching uh, Fantasmic and we were arguing she's like that's it like, we were arguing again because we were arguing because I want to get her back she doesn't want to and I know she did I know she did she just didn't want to I know she did I know fucking she just she could have avoided all this and she's like that's it I'm not that's it we're done so it's her fault like, of course it's not mine <laughs> I'm, doing my, I'm doing hard work here I'm volunteering <laughs> I'm volunteering here <laughs> So, what happens is, right, she goes, that's it, like, uh, I'm not done, I, I, I see that you, you still don't care. I'm like, okay, fine, if we're not going to get together, if we're not going to be together, fine. Is it okay if I use, if I can bring in one of my friends and I can call him on a date, can you let me into this event? She went berserk, right? Like, oh, you're going to continue bringing other women, like, all you care about is other women. Obviously, if you don't want to be with me, then I get to be so with someone else. she's a too. Like, of course, of course. But, Poquito. Poquito. Pero, I, I only wanted her. So, I'm throwing a Hail Mary, guys. I'm doing the help Mary here. What do I do? Right in my head, I'm thinking I already got into a fight in fucking this land. Fantastic, making the most <laughs> fucking fuck in the football in the in the world. Right? There's no there's no broken dreams. I'm not walking down the boulevard of broken dreams here. I'm walking down Disneyland, Main Street. Okay? Happiest place on earth. Exactly. I have to leave happy. So I got a phone call. <laughs> Guess I mean? a phone call. At the end we get outside, we get outside, okay? We get outside. And I'm like uh, I'm like, you know what, look, I'm going to go see Xavier. He's not doing very well. I, I think today he might, he might not make it, right? And I go, Bruh. I'm like, oh, it's my phone. <laughs> Why didn't I just go, I don't know, you know? And I'm like, I thought my phone's vibrating. I'm like, hello? That's Sister Mary. <laughs> Good evening. Um, no, please don't tell me this is the call I'm waiting for. Oh, <laughs> you can't. Like it was not real. Like he's not. He cannot be dead. Like he was so young. Cause he's not real. <laughs> it cannot. It cannot happen today. Not, not today. Like I'm not. I'm not. Like I can't. What did he say? No, he's a perdido. So what she does is she sees me crying. Mhm. You know. Like real tears or like did you? Like I'm, I'm, Were you I'm thinking not. of like a doggy dying? Like what? What caused those? Tears? I was I was thinking that if this doesn't work, I'm gonna cry for real. <laughs> okay. So this is eight months of lying, right? I'm like, okay. so I hang up uh, up on the way to sleep. She hugs me. She hugs me. And my one of my good friends was behind me, because we went on a double date. Mm-hmm. Was behind me. She hugs me, and I'm like. <laughs> Just need you to be for me for this one time. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be alone. Uh, we got back together two weeks after that. And it still it, took her two weeks. Yeah, another two weeks because, you know, she had to think about it. Uh, write she it she needed to process to the fact that maybe it was crying, right? Um, and we get back mm-hmm. on September fifth, two thousand ten, and we date for two more years. Wow. Did you come clean to her? You know what? After we started dating, she goes, you never went back to the orphanage. I told her, I can never step foot on that place ever again. <laughs> After the loss that I've suffered, I cannot go through that again. Okay. 
<clears throat> um, I mean, two years with a little. Did she ever meet your nephew, Xavier? Uh, well, his name is Roman. His middle name's Xavier. Oh, oh, oh. Why would the hell would I tell her his middle name's Xavier? <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. I read yourself there. Okay. So, okay. was I toxic? Fuck yeah, you were. Very toxic. I cried. The fact that you managed to cry over a dead imaginary. imaginary. So not every time I so she will go to school, see me play soccer. You said because because at that point I wasn't going. You would make some goals yeah, in you know, honor you know, of Xavier. I'll, I'll go like this, guys. I'll, I'll post up an X <laughs> for you, my boy. <laughs> Again, right? So, but the story tells is how far do you have to go to go for that love? What does love make you do? Wow. I think that was my most toxic thing. Now, I'm happily married. Um, and she, my, my wife goes, um, well, you're a liar. I'm like, trust me. If I was lying, I would trust me. I'm gonna move it. Now, any questions? Any questions on that on that story? Oh what would God. you what, what would you have done if you were the uh, the girl that I was telling How the story did to? She, do you did she not try and poke holes to all of this? Like there's just what holes did you see in my story? I think it was fucking bulletproof. How is the kid like have cancer? Didn't you say he was just like born? He was four years old. He was four years old. Okay, People never mind. Born with cancer. Scratch that. Okay. <clears throat> Stage four, by the way. Why didn't she want to go like meet bald, him? Bald like, kid. like the kid show me bald. a picture. Show me a picture of like you and Xavier. Take me to go meet Xavier. Let's go. Let's bring him with us on one of these He's days. He's an orphanage. He can't go out of the orphanage. Then take me to the orphanage. I, she wasn't gonna volunteer. She couldn't go in. I'll, Jesus. I'll <laughs> sign up and volunteer uh, right now. Uh, you know what? Fills a spot. Now all the spots are filled. That's it. Give me Sister Mary's number. I want to talk to. Sister, Sister Mary, don't talk to no one religious. Not in religious, and I'm very, and I'm very Catholic. It's the Ave Maria. It's the. You, you tell me. Bulletproof, guys. No. Bulletproof. All right. Again, right. It look. What it is is, to the lengths that you go, and you start realizing that you know now it's been years, right? It's been years since that that story has happened. Have uh, would I ever pull it off again? No. It's very draining, because the whole for eight months I had to lie for eight months. Or something Dang. that was never there. How did you keep all of that straight? Did you have like little note cards? Or, I, like, at like some Basan? point, at some point, if I was getting caught slipping, I would, um, I would be like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, um, and I would make a joke. I would make a joke so I can buy myself some time <laughs> to realize where I was going. Because if I make a mistake, it's all done. It's all done. It's, it's all over. done. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Um, am I, am I a bad person? Am I going to hell? Ah, well, I'm not a religious person, like you said. Well, there's got to be somewhere I'm going. You're going to Toxico Heaven. Oh. How about that? Oh, You're going to Toxico Heaven. You that's can go to that. No. Um, that's that's... A, lot of, it's a lot of people I, I don't want to see there. <laughs> a lot of people. What if I see my wife again in there? Hey, no. <laughs> like, look. Point aside. Well, when you get married, guys, it's to have to that do us apart. She dies. I made some promises. I made some promises in heaven. I'll see you in heaven. We'll die forever. We'll be together forever. And what if you want to bounce around? You want to be a yeah, well, I'm in heaven. I don't have to be married in heaven. That's why. Right. And then we're divorced because it's the dead was apart. We die. <laughs> Shit happens. I mean, I don't think that makes you a bad person. It just it goes to show you the lengths that you're willing to go for for love, or what you thought you know was love. God. Could you be an actor? Hell yeah, you could. Maybe. Sign. <laughs> God, like poor Xavier though, he died. <laughs> like, are you sad about Xavier? I will be sad about Xavier. No. Guys, no. <laughs> tell me in the comments if I'm a bad person. Let me know. If you guys, what would you guys would have done different? What questions would you would have asked me? If you guys, like, I don't care if you're a guy, what a guy, what questions would you have asked, guys? If the, your girl was telling you, well, I work on cars now, I'm a mechanic. You know, and bitch don't know shit about, you know, how to change an oil. You know? What would you guys do? What would you guys ask? Women, am I a bad person? What did I do wrong? Is it bulletproof? Would you guys would have cried over Xavier with me? I cried over Xavier. Thank you. And have a good day, guys.